Good morning everybody. Today is Wednesday, April 1st. It is workout Wednesday, so we're staying active. And so we're going to keep our brains active with a little bit of math. All right, so we're going to start with partners for 10. We've been working on these all week, so you're probably getting pretty good at them. So we're going to think about different ways to make 10. So let's read our word problem. Jen and Kay each have cards with numbers 1 to 9. Two cards with a sum of 10 are chosen. What are different ways to make oop, 10? All right. So what's the what are we talking about? So we're talking about cards with numbers, right? And we, what do we know? We know that each of the cards has a number, either 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, or 9 on it. And we know that we want to combine cards to make 10. All right. So let's see. Ian, so I was going to point out this. I, sum. It says two cards with a sum of 10. And I put a little plus sign up here because when we see the word sum, we know that means plus or add. So we're going to add our cards together. All right. So I have my part part whole. I have a number bond. And then I have a chart to put all of our information in. So let's say, let's say the first card is a 1. All right. So if I have 1 here, I'm going to count on to see how to get to 10. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then, so I'll put my one here, that's my first add end. So one plus one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine is my second add end, or my second card. So one card will have a one on it, and one card will have a nine on it, and that will equal 10. Let's keep going. So what if I picked a 2? So let's put a 2 over here. That will be my first card or my first add-in. I'm going to erase over here. My 10 stays the same. I still want 10. All right. So I have 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So 2 plus 8, 2 plus 8 equals 10. Good. All right, so let's keep going. Let's do 3. What if I picked a 3? Three? 3. And I bet you already know what the answer is, but we're going to do them anyway. So 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and stop at 10. I almost kept going. Huh. So 3, and then I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 3 plus 7 equals 10. 3 plus 7 equals 10. I'm going to try and make sure I line those up. All right, what do you think we should do next? I think 4. Yeah, let's go with a 4. All right. Let me just use my finger here. 1, 2, 3, 4. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So I have 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 4 plus 6. 4 plus 6. Good. The next one, I think you all know. I think for some reason you guys all remember this. Maybe it's the five fingers on your hands. But we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And what do you think we're going to have over here? I think 5. So 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 5 plus 5 equals 10. All right, so now, now, let's see if I have these lined up. Pretty good, right? All right, so now, if I draw a 6, I don't even think that I have to do any of this because I know that when I add numbers, it doesn't matter what order they're in. Um, it's called a turnaround fact. So if I have if I have six here and four here to equal ten, 
then 6 here and 4 here will also equal 10. What if I did a 7? So a 7 here and a 3 here equals 10. So a 7 here and a 3 here equals 10. And what if I did 8? I think I'm one short over here. We'll see in a second. An 8 here and a 2 here equal 10. So an 8 here and a 2 here. And then a 9 and 1 and a 9 and 1. So let's just see. I have... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Oh, I did it. I thought I did it wrong. All right. So those are all ways to make 10. They're all partners for 10. So have a great day. Don't forget to work out. Work your brain and your body. And have a great day. And we'll see you tomorrow. Keep, keep learning live.